Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we've got a quick update today on the HD Home Run Prime. I have no new news on the six tuner device, but we are going to talk today about DRM protected content and Android. They pushed down an update the other day to allow you to play back DRM protected content on devices like the Nvidia Shield here, along with many others that are Google certified. I'll talk about what that means here in just a second. So I'm gonna show you how this works and I'm also going to show you one of the issues I ran into with my cable card and how I fixed it that might be relevant and helpful, perhaps, uh, to some of you watching. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run here, are an occasional sponsor here on the channel. Uh, they found me, though, after I bought the HD Home Run Prime and had it change my whole TV viewing experience here for the better. And that's how we got to know each other. It was one of the first big videos here on the channel. So it's a product that I am... Uh, very, very happy with here in my house and many others out there are as well. But I do want to let you know up front that there is a relationship with the company here. However, they are not reviewing this video before it is uploaded, nor are they approving it. They're not paying for this one either, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see how all of this works. So right now I'm on my cable access channel. By the way, this was the TV channel I got my start on when I was 13. And I'm just going to scroll down my list here to HBO. And we'll pull up uh, the barbershop, which is running on my HBO HD channel here. And as you can see, up it comes and we're able to watch uh, HBO here. I can even pause and uh, come back to it later if I want. It doesn't yet support, though, the DVR. So you can't record HBO content or DRM protected content just yet. But you can, uh, at least while you're watching, do some time shifting here if you want. And I'm also going to take out my uh, trusty Android phone here. It looks like it's a couple seconds behind on uh, what's going on on screen or maybe ahead. Uh, but you can see here it's also able to play back just fine on this OnePlus phone. It looks like compatibility on this is uh, Android 4.4.2 or higher. And again, it needs to be a Google certified device. And I'm going to put a link down below in the video description as to where you can find out whether or not your device is Google certified. But from what I Understand, it's pretty much most of the name brand devices out there should work, uh, but some of the cheaper devices you might get from overseas, the ones that kind of meld a tablet interface onto their Android boxes may not work unless they went through that Google certification. Uh, this is an issue that a lot of people have been running into lately trying to install Netflix off the Google Play Store, for example, and this is all part of the DRM protection system that uh, the cable industry has put in place and it has to work through this Google certified thing in order for it to be certified with them. It's a very complex arrangement. It also means that right now Amazon Fire TV devices will not work uh, with this version of the app just yet. So on Amazon Fire TV, all the versions of it, uh, you can of course watch unprotected channels, but any protected channels still will not work. That's something Amazon has to work out on their end. So right now, Google certified Android TV devices and phones and tablets uh, should all work without any issues. I do recommend though rebooting the device after you get these updates installed just to kind of flush everything out. But I did want to talk briefly about my cable card and an issue that I ran into with it last night, which prevented me from doing this video right when the new feature dropped. And what happened was uh, my cable card lost its validation. It was still giving me all of my unprotected channels, but not my protected channels. And I was able to find this out when I went into the my.hdhomerun.com uh, website, which will link you to your own device. If you click on your HD Home Run Prime, you get this really cool menu that gives you some neat diagnostics about what's going on. And what happened was I had card authentication success, I had the OOB lock success, but my card validation uh, was not showing successful, and that prevented me from getting HBO working. So I called up Comcast, took about 20 minutes on the phone to kind of figure out what happened. They pushed down an update to the card, and then it started working, but I did have to do an update to my channel lineup after they pushed down that update. So I went over here to detect channels and that uh, rescanned the cable system for what I had available to me. Now you'll know which channels are DRM protected based on this little icon you'll see here next to the channel number. Uh, this one here is DRM, which is funny because all these other music channels are not except for this one, which is kind of odd. Uh, there's a few others in here as you can see. And then when we go back down to the bottom of the list, you can see my HBO HD. Uh, is coming in in MPEG-4 along with the DRM in high definition. So that's what all of those little icons mean. So now I'm able to run my DRM protected content not only on my Android devices, but also on iOS. 
Uh, they had an update a few months ago for the iPad and iPhone, and I'm also able to have it run on Windows 10 devices along with the Xbox One. Uh, but you have to use the HD Home Run app for all of those because this DRM certification is the whole stack. It's the hardware and the software together. So if you are using Plex or the Channels app, uh, this will not work with those applications because they have not been independently certified to provide the DRM content to you. Uh, so that would be something Plex and Channels would have to do on their own to get it going. And it's a very arduous process, unfortunately. So your unprotected stuff will still work the same way it did before, uh, but DRM protected content is only going to work through the HD Home Run app. And remember, it still doesn't yet work with recordings with the DVR. So that is it for this update. It looks like DRM content is working quite well on Android now. Uh, this will get pushed down automatically if you have your devices set to update the HD Home Run app that way. So uh, boot it up and see if that update came down. If not, hop into the Google Play Store on your device and push it down and you'll be ready to go. We'll of course have more HD home run stuff coming up soon as new things develop, so stay tuned. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.